Hey guys. Welcome back to Forward Farming. <laughs> We're just getting our little nervous giggles out before we start today because this is going to be a heavy episode, uh, you guys. So let's just let's just throw it out there that we're going to be talking about pros and cons of showing our kids on social media. And um, before we before we kind of jump into things, just know that these are all our opinions. So if you guys do something differently than us, that's totally fine. This is just what we're comfortable with. And we're just going to share what we're comfortable with, with you guys. So if you do have different opinions, or if you haven't thought about this, because if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a paranoid little overthinker. So I think about a lot of things. And if you haven't thought about this, maybe it might change the way that you share your kids on social media, or maybe it doesn't. And that's great. So let's just make this a safe place. And uh, if you don't feel comfortable listening to this, that's cool. We'll see you next week. No big deal. No hard feelings, but um, we would love to continue this conversation with you guys too. So if you want to go ahead and send us messages or comment, Becca made a really great post last week um, about, about sharing kids on social media. So go leave comments on that or read through some of the comments if we don't get to them all today. But um, this is kind of one of those topics that everyone has opinions on. So don't get mad at us for having our our own opinions. So there, let's just get that out of the way. That summed it up nicely. I think, yeah, we'll maybe get to some of the comments that were left on the post that I made because there were like every single one, like I said, I, I see both sides to every situation, which is, I think a curse and a blessing sometimes, but like every single post on there, or comment. I, I saw both sides of it. And like, I think that makes it hard for me, but we were just kind of talking a little bit before too, and we'll get into this. Um, there's just like a lot of things that I did in the last week (laughs) that I Mm -hmm. feel so much better, um, about what and how I'm sharing on social media. And, um, I think in the end it's, it's, it doesn't even matter about, um, like followers and who cares if you have like a hundred thousand people seeing your stuff. Yep. If 50% of them are like creepers, you know, so anyways, yeah, we can kind of get, get into all that before, but I just, um, this is, I'm really excited to record this post and hear more on your views because I, I know that we do differ a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. but I think it'll be good to kind of just put it all out there and, um, hopefully other people will feel less alone when they're trying yes. to like sort through all the, all the things. Yeah. And, uh, I, I feel like I'm nervous to talk about this because <laughs> this kind of came up, um, in, in kind of a different way during Annalise's mastermind in April. Um, I was moderating a, a panel and someone asked about like farm safety and like how you guys keep like yourself safe on the farm. If we had security cameras or whatever, and like, Annalise immediately handed me the microphone. She's like, you handle this. And like, I was just going, like, I was just talking about all the stuff that goes through my mind when like, I'm watching frost in the middle of the night. And like, I'm looking in all these different places to make sure that there's like no one there. And I could just see like this wave go across people's faces. Usually you can tell, like, if you're in a front of a group speaking, you can just see them kind of just like glaze over it wasn't like that glaze of boredom. It was like the glaze of, oh, she's actually crazy. Like that look <laughs> across her face. So again, like I'm overly paranoid. I'm going to come across that way, but it makes me feel safe. And that's all I care about. If that looks different for you, cool. I'm happy for you. You do you, whatever makes you feel comfortable. This is what makes me feel comfortable for my family. So there, there's another little preface. So where, where do you want to start? What I was um, just going to ask you that, like, there's just, maybe we should have had an outline for this. Okay. But- so I'll, I'll tell you what kind of changed my mind. Um, okay. because when, when I was pregnant, I kind of kept a lot of stuff private. Like I didn't share what we were having. I didn't really share my due date exactly. Like I didn't share a lot of, I don't, even with you, like, I don't, I didn't tell you where I lived for a long time. Like that was just kind of like the running. She's joke. not, she's not joking. You guys, I'm not, I don't like, like I didn't even know what town she lived in. I think I had to like mail you something. Yes. And I was like, dude, like literally what's your address? Yeah. <laughs> so 
like any, that's just, that's just me. I try to keep my family private out of respect for them mostly. Um, so when I brought a kid into the world, I tried to be mindful of that. What I thought was comfortable for me at the time. Um, when he was born, obviously I shared that and I shared that entire experience with you guys. And then as time went on, I would share him a little bit on, on like Instagram, on my, on Cranberry chats, I would share posts with him in it. I did a couple of sponsored posts with him, which makes me feel like garbage looking back at that now. And, um, I, and it kind of came to a head for me, um, kind of after harvest. So end of, end of fall going into like the new year, there was an incident that happened close to home, closer than I would like it to happen, where one of Dan's, he probably doesn't want me sharing this story, but I don't care. It was Dan's former employer. Um, We got to be really good friends with him. And he just seemed like such a genuinely nice person. Uh, He and his wife had a a kid that was a couple of months older than, than Porter um, in the, the, when the baby was born, it was born super prematurely and spent a lot of time in the NICU and he and his wife raised a whole bunch of money to donate back to the hospital. Like there's tons and tons of news articles about how great he and his wife are for the community. And they just were super active in the church. And he was just like such a nice guy. And then, um, all of a sudden this, we got slapped with news that, he was arrested for possessing a lot of child pornography. And I don't think you like, told me this. It, it, it stopped me in my tracks. I was like, there's no way it's this guy. Like he had just gotten back, literally just gotten back from a family vacation. They arrested him on the spot. Like all this information was coming out of all of this awful stuff he was doing. And it, it made me question a lot of things um, about what I share online because you know, if, if we thought this guy was so nice, what was he doing that we didn't know about? Was he taking pictures? You know, I, I don't think he did, but you know, it made me kind of think like, well, what would have happened if this, if he didn't get caught and we took our kid over to play with his kid and like, we left him alone. Like what if something had happened? It like all these thoughts just flooded my brain and I couldn't stop thinking about the way that I expose my kid on social media to these people that I don't know. If I thought I knew this guy well enough to trust him, what is happening to these? Like, what are people doing that I don't know? How are they viewing my kid? How are they, what are they doing that I don't know about? And that was something that really put, like, it honestly put the fear of God in me. Like it, that was just something that flipped a switch with me. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to share pictures of my kid on social media, especially on my, on my public account as much like at all, if I can help it. Um, so that was a big thing. And it got me really thinking, you know, all these videos that people shared of with, with my kid in it, like who else saw that, that I don't know about, you know, you can, the internet is a forever place. So these people that are saving my videos that are saving the pictures of my kid in them. What are those people doing with that media are, you know, like, I, I don't want to think about it, but I have to, especially on TikTok. It's so, it's such a scary platform because you look at any of the people that are sharing their kids continuously on there and look at their views from videos that are just themselves versus with their kids in it and look at the saves on those videos of the kids. Why are there so many saves of those kids? You know, like why, <laughs> what are you doing in that post? Like in, and with just all this technology that's coming out with AI, it makes me so nervous because all you need is just, you know, there's so much facial recognition Like there's a ton of creeps out there that can take pictures of your kids and just cut the face out and paste it on something super inappropriate. And, and, you know, I like, I'm trying to be respectful about this, but I don't think I can, (laughs) you know, like, I feel like 
let it out. (laughs) There's so many pedophiles out there that they can take your kid's face, post it on like a naked body. Even if your kid is fully clothed, even if you're fully clothed and they can just make sex tapes out of it. It's terrifying to think about. And I, I hate that that's the direction that the internet is going in. And with AI, it scares the shit out of me. Like there's so much bad things. Obviously there's so much good that can come out of the internet, but there's so much bad. There's so many terrible people out there that you don't even know. It scares me. So that was, that was the big reason, um, that, that kind of just made me start thinking about this. And another big reason is my kid can't, can't, doesn't know what's going on. If he's not old enough to have social media, if he isn't old enough to tell me, mommy, that's an embarrassing picture. Don't post that. If he can't tell me, no, he doesn't want his, his image out on my profile. Why am I sharing that? You know, that was also the big thing for me too, is I had to look down the line and think, you know, would an eight-year-old porter want that picture of himself as a a baby out on the internet? Like, what if his friends see that when he's in middle school? Like, is that going to give kids a reason to bully my kid? I'm trying to think of like his mental health down the line. If he can't tell me, no, he doesn't want himself on my, like, I don't want to benefit followers. I don't want to benefit. I don't want to do sponsorships because of my kid. I don't want to take money because my kid is in that post. I don't, I feel icky. I don't, that's just my thought. Like if you are like a mommy blogger or whatever, and that's how you make your income, that's great. If you're comfortable doing that, I don't, I don't want to make money off of my kid. Like that, that just doesn't feel right for me. So just like his mental health is also my top priority. I don't, if he's not comfortable giving me consent to posting these things, like would I, you know, then I, I kind of think back on like me, would I be comfortable if people are taking, like, if people are taking pictures of me all day long, because he's my first kid, of course, my camera roll is going to be full of pictures of him. If someone else was doing that to me and just uploading video and content of me without my acknowledgement, I probably won't be thrilled with that either. So that was kind of the other big reason for me to kind of hold back. And like, obviously we, we chose to be, to like share our lives on the internet. I I fully recognize that, but, and, and like, obviously our kids are a big part of our lives and a part of the farm and it's important how kids can be involved on the farm, but how I had to think about how I can do that tactfully and respectfully for my privacy, for our family's privacy. How can I do that the best of both worlds? And it's taken me a long time to figure that out. And that's why I haven't been posting as regularly as I used to. I I don't want to show like pictures of my backyard. I don't want to show pictures of my home necessarily. I don't want people to see that inside look because my mind immediately goes to a dark place. Like if I show my backyard and, and show you like the, the things I have back there, if you're driving down the highway, you can see my backyard. Are you going to be able to drive down the highway and pick out my house because of an image that I shared from my home? You know, like all these different things like go through my mind. And yes, I know I sound paranoid and I know I sound probably crazy, but crazier things have happened. And I don't want to put my family in jeopardy because of my, I don't, selfishness because of my need to feel like I need to share everything on social media. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at with everything. I, so those are all like the negative things. What do I do to um, help myself feel better about it? I guess like what, what steps do I take to still remain active and still show a little bit, I guess. Um, I filter through my followers and this is probably going to sound, I don't know, sexist, racist, all these different things. 
but I'm just going to be honest and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be racist, but I get the, like, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, if i if someone follows me, I click on their profile, I check them out. If they seem to be like a bot or if they seem to be like, uh, someone from another country and they have no public profile and I can't check them out, I'm probably going to be blocking them. Um, if they have anywhere in their profile that they're looking for, that they're single and looking for love, I'm probably going to block you. Like all these things, I don't, I don't want that on my page. So if, if I blocked you and you're not one of those and I just blocked you on accident, I'm sorry, sorry, whatever. But, um, I do that on my Facebook profile and I do that on my Instagram I don't, I, I don't think I can really do that on TikTok as easily, but I try to monitor who is following me. Um, and then on, on my private stuff, I do have a private Instagram account. If you do add me, I'm probably not going to accept you. Sorry. <laughs> like I, I just feel comfortable keeping that with people that I've actually like met and know in person and as well on my Facebook account. Um, I, I go through my friend list every once in a while. And if I see like a picture pop up and if I can't identify the person in the picture within like five seconds, I'm unfriending them. Like if there's someone from college that I don't interact with or high school or something, sorry. Or if your birthday pops up, I'm like, I don't know who you are. Unfriend. Like happy birthday. Bye. (laughs) Um, and, and I just make sure that my, my Facebook is as I just check the privacy settings and make sure that it's as locked down as I want it to be. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's, it's great sharing your kids and keeping everybody in the loop on your family. But at the same time, just be mindful. Like my, my thoughts are, is this an embarrassing picture? Like who's going to be, if someone's, if like a random person saved this on their phone and it somehow got back to my kid in the next 10 years, is he going to be mad at me for posting it? That's kind of my view of things. Like if, if I post a picture of him naked in the bathtub for like, I, I would be comfortable with that if I was an adult. So why would I do that with my kid? That's kind of my thought process on that. Also, child trafficking is a real thing. It's a very scary thing. It's a very subtle thing. But uh, the newest thing that I've seen going around is uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, People will be saying that they're like selling beds, bed frames, beds, whatever. And it'll be like a mirror picture and there will be a kid in the picture. and they're not selling beds, they're selling the kid. So um, something as subtle as that is going around and just be mindful. Just There's so many, <laughs> listen to a crime podcast and you can just get on my level for a second. Like there's, so, anyway, different subject, different story. Those are my thoughts and reasonings on kind of making my profile a little bit more private also, if you're not utilizing like your close friends list on Instagram, um, that's a really great tool too. So if you do want to share your kids' pictures, but just with people that you like know and trust, that's a way that I do things too. So there's there's my spiel. What is what's your take? Digest that. What's your take? <laughs> if I had a beer, I'd take a drink. I just have a bubbler, but no, I see. I 100% see every reasoning that you do it. Do I think it's a little, I don't want to say crazy because I don't think it's crazy, but it's, um, it's extreme. I know. Yeah. Okay. Extreme might be the right word. And I don't say that in a negative way, like, because that's what you're comfortable with. And I think that's what people need to figure out what they're comfortable with, Mm -hmm. uh, like how they're feeling. And that's all that matters then. Cause if, if you're comfortable with it, like who cares if someone else isn't. Yeah. And, um, and like, I was, I was like this before Porter was born. Like, again, like I don't share where I live 
for a reason. I try not to put my farm name out there for a reason. If, if you do, that's fine. That's great. I understand that like you and other farmers need to do that because you sell product to the public and you need to get your name and info, information out there. That's totally fine. That's great. I would, I would not be comfortable doing that personally. So like there's different, different levels of comfort. I was raised in like a very <laughs> sheltered. I was just raised very sheltered. So like all of this is like, oh my God, the world is a scary place. Like, uh, if, have you ever seen Tangled? Like, I think part of it. Like when Mother Gothel is telling Rapunzel not to go out to the real world because there's men with pointy teeth and like everything is dangerous. That's just my brain all the time. So if you just, just meet whatever your comfort level is, like I'm just giving you one extreme and you can give like a normal person's view of things. So You're what are, too. no, I, you know, I've, I don't want to say I've had a shift in the last couple of weeks, but I've definitely thought more about it. Um, so it's weird for me because a big change in um, like my social media, I don't want to say following, but like in the community that I kind of built in the, the people that I interact with, a big change in that happened when I had Sophia. And when I had her, you know, parenting is obviously isolating along with farming. We've said that before. And so being able to share her on social media was just a way to kind of connect with other new moms or other farming moms and like try to figure out what the hell we were doing, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of when, you know, I started sharing her and I, I saw more of an increase in followers. And part of me is like, are they all creepy followers now? Mm -hmm. But like, I'm sure there were some. Um, but, and that's where I regret where I didn't, um, you know, when I had a smaller account, I didn't screen people and I, I wish I would have, because it's, it's obviously a lot harder now with a bigger following than, you know, before, um, because I, I, when Sophia was born, I think I had like 5,000 followers. Um, so it, it's just hard for me because I'm used to sharing them and I'm, and I'm used to, um, just like everyday life with them. One thing I'll say, though, I don't think I've really had too many, like, embarrassing photos of the kids or things that they'll, they would look back on. It. And that could be my opinion. Like, maybe maybe they will think of that. Um, but I will just kind of try to be mindful of, of what I post about them and stuff like that. Um, that being said, though, I've I've gone back. I think last year I went back and I, like, deleted a lot of pictures of the kids just... Um, like when they were born and mm-hmm. with like details about them yep. because it just I don't know at the time it seemed innocent but also like it's not it's not really necessary to be out there on we're like public information I guess um, and so in the last couple of weeks I I have noticed more and more people like influence big influencers um, kind of just making statements about how they're not going to be showing their kids faces anymore. Um, and a plethora of reasons, all good ones. Um, and that just kind of really made me think like, okay, do I need to kind of rethink about how, how I'm doing things? Um, I haven't had any instances like you where it was like, holy shit, like a wake up call. And I think that obviously would change my perspective a lot. Um, but I, I'm still going to be posting my kids because they are a big part of our life and a big part of farm life and stuff like that. But um, I did notice too, like a lot of pictures I take of the kids are of their backs or their sides, not Mm -hmm. like a full front shot. So I think I'm just going to obviously be more mindful of that and maybe not, um, you know, not give them like just a headshot. I don't know if that's what you want to call it, which sounds weird to say, but like, I don't know. Um, I've, I've gone through a lot of followers and like you, this is not meant to be racist, but like I was texting Amber, some of the, I don't want to say names that are not people you would want to follow you. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to offend people, but I just, I deleted a lot of people 
that um, I don't think were following me for the right reason. And I, I'm assuming they're spam bots. I don't, I don't know. But at the same time, like, and then the half naked women, I I (laughs) talked about those on my stories, but like, ain't no way that Tracy with an eye in a bikini, probably looking for a sugar daddy is following me to learn about agriculture. And if she is Tracy, I'm, I'm sorry, send me a message and I'll, I'll let your, you know, come back. But um, it was, it, it was just a thing. Like I deleted probably four or 500 people, mm-hmm. which sucked a little bit. Cause I was like at 21.5 K and now I'm at like 21, but it makes me feel so much better that they're gone. And I know there's probably more out there. Um, so, you know, sometimes when I have like five minutes, I'll just kind of scroll through. And now what I'm doing too, is when people add me, I'm weeding them out right away. Like if, if mm-hmm. it's a spam account or, and there's so many of them, like, I wish that Instagram could figure it out and not let them be there. I don't, I don't know, but, um, I do know that by d- deleting them, it's, it's literally making me feel better. And it's not like taking away any of my engagement or anything like that because they weren't engaging to begin with. Right. Um, and then another thing I did was, uh, the close friends list. So, in my stories is a lot of the times where the kids would pop up just because like sharing the weird things that they're doing because they're, they're weird. Um, but they're also hilarious and I like to share that kind of stuff. So I made the close friends option and I'm still, I have to like, it's, it's a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie because you have to like add people manually. Um, so I'm adding people to that. So I guess if you're listening and you're not on that and you want to be, just shoot me a DM. Um, I'll vet you and then <laughs> probably add you, but, um, that way after you it, do like a thorough background check on them, check their yeah. credentials. Make sure. <laughs> oh, that's just me. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> I feel like if I've like talked to you in the past or like, yeah. I, you know, then I have no problem adding people. Um, but that's just another way for me to feel safer about doing it. Uh, and then on Facebook, I, I went through my friends list and I deleted a lot of people I had uh, when I was selling my cows, a lot of like cow people added me and I added them back just because I was trying to sell cows. And if like, I don't know if that's what they needed to do to buy from me, whatever. But now I'm going through and I'm like, I don't know you like, and I'm sure they're harmless because all they post about is cows and they're like in the cattle world, but I don't need you on my personal page. Like if, Mm -hmm. you know, I can have you on my, my public page and that's fine. So I deleted a lot of people like that. And like you said to people from high school that you don't talk, I don't talk to anyone from high school and a Mm -hmm. lot of people from college that I used to like party with and stuff. I do not. I mean, and it nothing against them. It's not like I don't like them anymore, but we, we aren't in touch and they don't need to be seen what I'm up to. I don't know. So, um, yeah, I deleted a lot of people on Facebook and that makes me feel more comfortable sharing like family photos because a lot of our families on Facebook and um so that's an easy way for me to like share more personal photos I guess you could say like when we went up to the cabin yesterday for for Father's Day I shared photos on Facebook um like that's kind of some stuff that maybe in the past I would have shared on my Instagram but why I mean I, I guess there's no reason because all of our friends and family are on Facebook. So they don't need to see it on Instagram, if that makes any sense. Um, Mm -hmm. Just kind of be more mindful of like how I'm, how I'm sharing things, I think is big for me. Um, I, I agree with the part of you, like you don't want your kids to be resentful um, when they're older, looking back on photos that you might've done or whatever with like them not being able to give consent or, you know, whatever you want to say it. Um, and I agree with that, but also like, I don't know. Sophia's old enough that she, she loves her picture being taken. She likes when, um, we take videos and stuff and like on YouTube, she's always like, how many likes do we have mom? And it's, it's like cute and adorable. Um, but also I don't want her to grow up thinking that that's that kind of stuff is all that matters. Um, Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes me go back and forth too. Like, yeah, she loves it. So it's not like, it's not like I'm using her, you know, for likes or anything like that because she genuinely wants it, but I don't want her to, to put her worth into 
photos on Instagram or like how many videos or how many likes a video gets like because there's a lot of kids on YouTube like a lot of YouTube channels with YouTube you know kids stars or whatever and let me tell you they're they're bratty they're entitled they are spoiled and I mean good for them I'm sure they're rich (laughs) they're probably super rich but I just I don't want Sophia to my gosh I don't want Sophia to be like that like oh my god you shut your mouth sorry my watch I don't know it thought I was talking to her um I just I don't want her to be like that because like we were watching this I don't even know who it was once and they were opening all these toys up and Sophia I forget what she said but she like she made me feel so terrible because she wanted all these toys it's like I can't afford to give you all those toys like and it it's hard to explain them Yeah, yeah it's hard to explain that to a kid and I like tried to explain it like they're getting them all for free like people sent them to that but who's gonna I mean she was probably five when that happened so it's like they're just their brains are just too little to comprehend that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. and um so I don't like when she watches that kind of stuff because I don't want her to think that like you have you get everything handed to you and stuff like that like that's not the way that the world works and I I think um how the kids are being raised is more important than uh I don't know Mm -hmm. yeah social media or I don't know what the best way to say that but I just I don't want to mess up my kids I want them to to grow up and know the value of hard work and um all those things I don't want to like not allow them to be in social media at all I or anything like that because I think there's a time and a place for it but I just want to be mindful of how much of that they're consuming um because I want them to know their worth preach solid solid point I um I totally agree I yeah I I have nothing to add to that that was um I wanted to add to um sorry I just keep talking no good um but you had made a comment too about before like how we have to have our um address online and stuff because we sell product and that um that has been I don't want to say like a concern of ours but we I mean to do like pickup and stuff like that we do have to I mean you have to have your address and like on our beef cuts we have to have our address on it um and so I've never been super concerned with it um we have like a lot of cameras on our property uh and that helps a lot too because like every inch of our property has a camera on it essentially so if someone were to come excuse me wow that bubbler if someone were to come um you know we could we could catch them and we've got Gracie she is she'll let you know if anyone she'll let you know if anyone pulls up um and we proudly support the second amendment but that's beside Mm -hmm. the point um but it it does suck like sometimes I wish we didn't have to have our address out there but again I'm pretty mindful of um where I'm posting that like I I don't tend to post about um, public events like the farmers markets and stuff as much as um, I used to on my public page just because oh, that's what the farm page is for like the farm page I'm really trying to just gear towards the locals I don't really need anyone that's not local that's not going to be buying meat from us to be following us um, because I, no offense but there's just there's nothing to benefit them on those pages mm-hmm. because it's like it's just for local people so I mean, obviously, if someone wants to find our address, they're going to be able to, but they're going to be able to do that with anyone. Like, that's just. Yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah. So I try not to think too much about that. Um, But yeah, I I don't know. I feel pretty good lately about how I'm sharing stuff, um, especially utilizing the close friends list and then um, just going to be more mindful, I think, of how how I share the kids. Like I went and deleted quite a few I didn't delete them I archived quite a few um more kid photos um just again they were they weren't anything bad or anything like that but it was just I don't know trying to clean up my my page a little bit and keep it to it so uh yeah I feel like that's all I had to add I don't know if we want to read a few of the comments that we got 
um, or if you had anything to add to that. Oh, you're back. Hi. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the only other suggestion, um, or the only other thing that I kind of do differently now is I don't post while I'm in the location mm, Yeah. anymore. So, um, like if I am out doing something on the marsh by myself, I'll, I'll make the video, um, and I'll save it until I'm somewhere else to post it in my stories or wherever, or if I'm at an event, I try not to post until like I'm leaving or, um, until I'm out of that space or whatever. Um, so if, you know, if we're on vacation or something, maybe not say exactly where you are while you're there or whatever else, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Again, like I, I, I wish I could share, I wish I could feel comfortable and maybe this will change over time too. Um, but yeah, this is just what we're comfortable with doing now. If your thoughts and opinions are different, that's great. I'm glad you're doing what feels comfortable for you, but I hope this was helpful, um, for folks to maybe think about more things or <laughs> laugh at how paranoid we are, whatever way is totally fine with us. Um, if you do have more thoughts and comments, or if you want a part two to, the, to this discussion, let us know. Um, we'll make a post on our social media pages and you can let us know what you think. If you want to keep this conversation going um, for part two, or if you have really strong opinions and you want to come on and talk to us about it too, let us know um, and we'll, we'll make it happen. So is that- Can I anything? ask you one more question? Yes. Okay. okay. Please. If this needs to be rolled into part two, just mm -hmm. tell me. We can edit this out. But, okay, so one thing I struggle with is yeah. um, people, they're like, okay, I'm not going to show the front of my kid's face, like only back or side profile, whatever like that. Okay. Yeah. Which That's is fine what I because do. That, yeah. But do you think, like, traffickers, say, for instance, do they care what the kid's face looks like? Or, you know, like, how far do you go? Because they still know you have a kid. Mm -hmm. is it and that, yeah. but then your point with the ai and like that that makes sense to me but you know it's just it's hard because it's like it's like where where do you stop like i mean it's a comfort thing but yeah for me it's i'm mostly worried about the face like it's pretty pretty well known that i have a kid so if i'm going to have like a stalker stalk me and try to kidnap my kid i'm prepared to face that if that were to happen, second amendment rights are, are a great thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're not carrying, um, a pepper spray or a pepper gel or, um, a stabby McStaberson on your body <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're traveling or out by yourself, be mindful of that. Something else that I don't want to do is have like a baby on board sticker on my vehicle mm -hmm. or, little stick figures, anything that, um, is an obvious sign that I'm traveling with a child also makes me feel a little bit safe. Yeah. Um, tinted windows are good. Mm -hmm. So just be mindful of those things as well. Like if you, if you want a deep dive on my paranoid brain, we're going to have to make that like a five part series because there's a lot of things that I think about I just, that. I, yeah. It was, it was something I thought about and I'm, you know, it's just, I think it, it goes back to comfort of, of what you're willing to post and stuff. But I, yeah, I was just, I was like, do you just hide the fact that you have kids or, you know, like how far yeah. do we need to take I it? I think, I think another big reason for me that I, I try not to post his face as, as well I can. I, d I don't think like, I don't want to do like the stickers over his face. Cause like, if you're going to like, just I crop him tacky. out. I'm sorry. I, I think it's tacky. I'm just, I I'm, I'm glad people are like trying to be sensitive about it. And like, that's what they, that's what they feel comfortable with. I don't, I don't see the point of it necessarily, but again, that's not my place to judge. So I try to do either like half a face or like side or back or whatever. That's not his full face. So again, like if I'm, if I'm not out in public with him, I don't want people to recognize my kid mm -hmm. as my kid.
since I don't want him to be out in public and someone coming up up to him and be like, oh my God, like I know you from social media. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. Okay. I don't want yeah. him to feel I don't I don't want to put that pressure on him. Like it's already weird enough when people do that to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like if I'm out somewhere and someone's like, oh my God, I recognize you from social media. It's like goodbye. Oh. <laughs> like, like that's awesome. But I like I just feel like oh like people are actually seeing me. <laughs> Cause I'm a little hermit crab, but yeah. you know, that's, that's kind of like a big thing for me too, is like, I don't want people to recognize him. It, I don't know. Like maybe. No, I, I did not think about that, but that I like that because, um, yeah, if, like you said, if someone's going to take your kid, like, and they know you have a kid, but to, to yeah. recognize someone in person, that's different. Um, I know two people, sometimes people don't use names on social media, um, which I, I kind of thought about doing, but at the same time, like I've shared them for so long that most people probably know their names anyway. So it's like, do you go back or, you know, I don't, I don't really know how that works, but, um, yeah. I do like the, the facing and I honestly, I hadn't thought about the AI thing either. So that, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> all right. So just, enjoy just the internet. Yeah, enjoy the internet, the internet. There, there's so many good things about the internet but there are also a lot of creeps on the internet so i think it's you know back to what we said in the beginning it's doing what you're most comfortable with it's um it, it's just doing you and not caring about how other people perceive you like mm-hmm. if you share your kids all the time you're not a bad mom uh, right you know if you don't share them at all not a bad mom i know i had a couple of people comment um both sides of the spectrum like um, one person didn't even share that they were pregnant. Like, so I don't, I mean, I don't, maybe they didn't share with their family. I don't even know. But so if they didn't share they were pregnant, no one knows they have a kid anyways. So then, you know, you just go on about sharing and that's fine. And then I had the other end of the spectrum where people just said like, I mean, our kids are part of our, you know, farm and family and we like to share them and stuff. And that's fine too. I think, um, I think I'm going to continue to do that just be more mindful of it and utilize that close friends feature and um just kind of go from there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's nothing wrong with with whatever you're doing. Um and just be confident in your decisions cuz I mean, I spend a lot of time going back and forth and then at, finally at some point it's like why why do I care what other people are thinking is mm-hmm. appropriate I share or not? Like I I don't share um anything of my family really. And I was like, well, are people going to start wondering like if something happened to Dan and I, cause I'm not sharing Dan in like anything anymore either. I'm like, I don't, I know what's going on. I don't mm-hmm. care what other people think. Um, he's not comfortable being on social media. So why am I trying to push him on and, and make him do something he doesn't want to. So just do what you're comfortable with, do what your family is comfortable with, um, and, and be confident and educated in your posting. So that's, that's all I have to say. <laughs> that was a lot. So I think it's good. Marinate on that people. Let us know what you think. Um, you know, maybe we could do like a little group chat, um, for people kind of wanting to yeah. continue the conversation. That could be fun. Um, if you're interested in that, shoot us a message on Instagram, maybe would be the best place to do that. Uh, yeah. it's been a while since we did a group chat, but that could yeah, be just go a, a good way to kind of keep the conversation going. Yeah, go to go to our podcast page, Forward Farming Podcast on Instagram. Um, send us a message or comment on the post and let us know that you want to chat with us. We'll get a group chat going if we have multiple people interested because those are fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. and maybe that would be better than doing a second episode or something or if, or if there's enough people, we can do a second episode too. But um, hope this episode was helpful for you guys. And uh take care of yourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, do what's, do what's best for you today. So, um, go outside, drink some water, enjoy the sunshine, hug your kids, hug your cat, hug your dog, hug your cows. I don't know, hug whatever you need to, to feel better. <laughs> I'm going to go hug my chickens. Maybe Good my luck. goats. Yeah. They're not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Do it anyway. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. I, I know we have a lot of people that were pretty hyped when we said we were going to kind of start talking about this just because 
it's I don't know it's it's a little bit different for us to talk about but at the same time I think it's um an important issue and being as we have I don't want to say super different views but different views it's good to kind of mix it up and just let everyone know that they're not alone in whatever way that they're thinking and so um if you guys are not following us yet on Facebook or Instagram you can go follow it find us on forward farming podcast and YouTube why do I always forget about YouTube because know. it it didn't work until now. Now we got it working. That's true. Um, and then you can follow Amber at Cranberry Chats, and I am at Becca Hilby. So yes, and go leave us a review if you feel inclined. Please and thank you. Only if it's positive. No negative comments. <laughs> <laughs> Our self esteems cannot handle that, <laughs> especially especially this week. Just yeah, <laughs> go show some love. We appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye.